There's so much you can do with AI right now. Chatbots, automation, content creation, customer service, analytics, the list goes on forever. But that's kind of the problem. Most businesses aren't falling behind because they're not using AI. They're falling behind because they're trying to use all of it and getting paralyzed by complexity. So today I'm showing you the 80-20 of AI for business, the handful of use cases and workflows that'll get you ahead of 99% of businesses. You're gonna walk away knowing exactly what to implement first and how to get the results this week. In fact, today, not next year. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Rick Mulready. And for the past 11 and a half years, almost 12 years at this point, I've run a multi seven figure online business, helping other online business owners grow and scale their business today. And for the past year and a half, I've run an AI community called the AI playbook, where I help online businesses leverage AI so that you can streamline your business, become more efficient and increase profitability in the process. I'll link to the community in the description below. All right, here's the thing that most people get wrong with AI out of the gate. They open up ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini or whatever, type in a question, get a generic response, and then think, eh, AI is not very good, it's not very useful, and I'm done. But here's what they're missing. AI is only as good as the context that you give it. Think about it this way. If you hired a new team member and immediately started asking them to write emails for your business without telling them anything about your business, like, your customers, your voice, your goals, what it even is that you do in your business, what kind of results are you gonna get from that person, right? Not very good. Well, the same is true for AI. So the very first thing is teach your AI about you and your business. You've gotta give it context about your business. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. If you're gonna be using ChatGPT, sign up for the Plus plan. This is the $20 a month plan at the time recording this. The free plan is way too restrictive for what we're doing here. So here's the context that you wanna teach ChatGPT to make it as useful as possible for you and your specific business and use cases. Number one, you wanna tell it who you are and what your business does. What do you sell? How do you sell it? Who your target audience is and their biggest pain points? What is your tone of voice? What is your writing style? How do you write? How do you sound? What types of words do you use? What types of words do you not wanna use? You wanna teach it how you make decisions. Are you a fast decision maker or are you more methodical? Are you more a pros, cons list? person, whatever it is. Another thing you want to teach ChatGPT is your business objectives and what does success look like for you and your specific business. And then any specific preferences that you have that you think is important for ChatGPT to know about you that's going to help it give you the best possible output for you, make sure to teach it that. Now, if you already have a document or documents with all this information in it, you're way ahead of the game already. Brand guide, onboarding doc, perfect, right? You can just upload that directly into ChatGPT. If you're like, Rick, I have none of that information. Where do I even start with that? Well, we can use ChatGPT to help us put together that information. So let's go over in the ChatGPT and put together a set of custom instructions for ChatGPT so that it can give me the most helpful outputs possible for me and my specific business. The answers to those questions will be included in the custom instructions. Nothing fancy about this prompt, but I want to see what it's going to do. And you'll notice here, by the way, as it is thinking through that, I always have it on the thinking mode. It just forces ChatGPT to basically think longer and harder. Okay, in nine seconds, it just says, awesome, let's do a fast but thorough interview. So you can see the type of things that it wants to know. So about you and your business, what's your one sentence positioning? You can essentially just click in here, click on the voice mode, and then just speak through the answers and it will then produce custom instructions that you can then go in and paste into essentially the back end, if you will, of ChatGPT. So you just go down to your little picture, little icon in the bottom left-hand corner, go to personalization, and then you're gonna see custom instructions right here. You can also give it a personality, so you can choose between default, cynic, robot, listener, nerd. I just have it on default. And then you can go through and answer a little bit more information and more about you. Again, we wanna give it as much information as possible so that the answers that it will give you when you're using ChatGPT are most helpful to you. All right, now that you've got that foundation in place, let's talk about a really high impact use case. And this use case is content repurposing without the grind that normally goes into it. So here's what most businesses do. They create one long form piece of content, like podcast, for example, or maybe a YouTube video or what have you, then it just sort of sits there because the thought of repurposing is exhausting, time intensive, can cost a lot of money if you hire somebody to do it. This is where AI gives you an unfair advantage because what used to take hours can now simply take like 20 minutes and that 20 minutes is spent just reviewing the content 
that AI has created for you. So here's the workflow that you can use. So you're going to go into Claude and you're going to click on projects. You're going to click on new project. All right, going to click on create project. And now I want to go to instructions. So this is the, essentially the prompt uh, for this project here. And I'm going to grab the prompt that I have put together for this and I'm gonna click on save instructions. Well, since we want this Claude project to write content for us and repurpose content for us, we wanna teach it how we sound, what our writing style and tone of voice is. So you're gonna click on the plus button here. I'm gonna click on add content and I'm just gonna say uh, writing style. There's my writing style. I'm gonna click on add content. Now I want it to repurpose a YouTube video transcript. So I'm gonna grab a transcript of one of my YouTube videos. I'm gonna paste it in here and I'm just gonna say, please repurpose the attached YouTube video transcript. And then I can click go. It'll analyze the transcript and then start creating the content that I've asked it to create. All right, and here's the output that it just gave me. But you can see here, here's my LinkedIn post right here. Here's my Instagram post that it wrote, here's my Facebook post, and then here are my two tweets. And just like that, you've got platform specific content that's ready to go. But here's the thing, it doesn't stop, it doesn't have to stop at social posts. You could take that same transcript and tell Claude that you wanna turn that transcript into an email for your email list. Now I want you to turn the transcript into an email for my email list that highlights the three biggest takeaways. And just like that, it's written this email. I can see that it's well written. It does have M dashes in there, so I would correct that. It looks really good. I can even ask it to pull out like 10 quotes from the transcript that we can then put into graphics in Canva or what have you. All this from one piece of content that you've now created seven, eight, nine, 15 pieces of content and what, like 20 minutes here time. By the way, all the prompts that I'm using in the video here today, a link to them, you can go download them. I'll link to it in the description below. Now let's talk about how to use AI for something that normally would cost thousands of dollars and tons of time to actually do by yourself. And that is you can use AI to do amazing market research, really in-depth, helpful market research. So I'm back over in ChatGPT and I'm actually gonna show you two different ways to do this. And here's the prompt. I need a comprehensive market research analysis for my niche. And so now I'm giving it complete instructions. Please analyze and provide detailed insights on the following. Emerging trends, competitor positioning, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I wanna click on this plus button and I want it to do deep research. Okay, and after 21 minutes, 13 sources and 89 searches. ChatGPT Deep Research has given me this complete report here called AI for Online Entrepreneurs Market Research and Insights 2025. It's breaking it down by emerging trends, competitor positioning. But again, in like 20 minutes, this is the kind of insight that used to take a market research team weeks to compile, if you will, and you're getting it over lunch. I wanna show you another way that you can leverage AI to do market research on a consistent basis. And that is using an AI workflow tool. What I like to use is called relay.app. It's super intuitive to use and really, really easy. What I've done here is I've created a weekly Reddit researcher. Reddit is full of gold nuggets of insights and content ideas for you. So what I've done here is I want the AI workflow every Friday morning at 8 a.m. I wanted to go search the B2B marketing subreddit, but it will then look for a certain posts based on certain keywords that you give it. Whatever it is that you want to be searching for, it'll find it for you. And then you can have, in this case here, it's ChatGPT. You tell it, given Reddit research from the past week, please write a detailed report. And then you can have that report sent to you. In this case here, it's being emailed. Now you have a complete weekly report that you didn't have to go do yourself, you didn't have to pay somebody to go do, to get awesome, really insightful research for you every single week from Reddit. Okay, the next AI use case that will get you absolutely 99% ahead of other businesses out there with AI is to create yourself a, what I like to call a business brain thought partner. AI isn't just for execution, it can be a thought partner for you to help you brainstorm and toss ideas back and forth. One of the most valuable things that I do with AI is to use it to help me see what I can't see myself or I might be missing. Because when you're too close to your own business, you miss the patterns, the paradoxes, the things that make your approach unique or uncover new revenue opportunities. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back into Claude, you're gonna create a, another Claude project, click on new project, and let's call this my business brain thought partner. We're going to paste in the 
the instructions for this project here. And by the way, the prompt that I just used, very much inspired by Dan Co. The other thing I'd wanna do here is I'd wanna add contextual relevance about my business, about my goals and needs and all that sort of thing into the files here as a knowledge base file. But let's just say that I'm considering a Substack for my business and I wanna talk to Claude about it to see, you know, if this, if it thinks it's a good idea. I'm considering starting a Substack for my business and I wanna know whether you think this is a good idea. Okay, so I've just spoken that in. Again, it's not a fancy prompt and let's click go. And so it says, so what are the problems? So it's basically challenging me. So I can just go back and forth and have a conversation here with Claude to come to some sort of resolution. And just like that, I've created a, an amazing business brain thought partner that can help me flesh out my ideas that I have for the business. All right, for this next use case, this is the ultimate leverage move. Like you only, you only have so many hours in a week, right? You can only take so many calls, answer so many people's questions, help so many people directly. But what if people could access your knowledge, your IP, your specific coaching 24 seven at two in the morning when a problem with their business is keeping them up and they just wanna ask you, well, what if you could clone your expertise and then sell it? Well, I use a tool called coachvox.ai where you can train a chatbot essentially on your knowledge, your frameworks, your methodologies, and then people can interact with it just like they're talking to you. I call it Pick Rick's Brain Coaching AI. And I've had it for two and a half years now and it's part of my AI Playbook community. And by the way, I have a member of my AI Playbook community who did this for a specific part of her business. She didn't use CoachVox, but she created her own GPT. She trained it with her IP based on a specific part of her business. She packaged it as a product and made 150 grand in three days off of that product. So what we're looking at here is the back end of CoachVox. This is sort of what the uh, chatbot looks like. You can totally embed this with iframe, how it's trained. You can see the, the knowledge part here. You can upload files and docs and TXT files. You can fine tune it. These are the questions and answers that I've trained it on. I can go into the back end here and look at the types of questions that people are asking. So I can look at how the AI responded, tweak the answer, so that the AI is getting smarter and smarter and smarter. So the next time that somebody's asked a similar question, I've already fine tuned the AI to answer in a better way. And this is what I mean by getting ahead. You're not just using AI to do tasks faster, for example, you're using it in this case here to create an entirely new revenue stream. All right, the final use case I wanna share with you is to create yourself custom AI employee. One AI team member that I wanna create, let's just say is an HR agent. So let's just say you're hiring for a new position and we want the AI to, look at the job application, the resume, decide whether this person is right for whatever job that we're hiring for. And then based on that decision, take a set of actions. So maybe for example, we want it to respond with an email, inviting them to a, the next phase, maybe it's a Zoom call with you. So we can have it check our Google calendar for our availability. We can have it write the email. We can create a task inside of our project management tool, Notion or ClickUp or what have you. And then we can have it notify you in Slack, for example, that you just got a great applicant. And then on the flip side, for the people that are not good fits for your role, well, you can have the AI send them an email and just tell them that unfortunately they're not a good fit for this current position. And then also send a message to you or your team or what have you in Slack to let them know. I mean, this workflow right here is super easy to set up. Uh, this is actually one of the templates, by the way, inside of relay.app that you can just grab. So here's another example of an AI team member that I want on my team. This is a LinkedIn content researcher. This is literally a, a role here on my team. Every Friday morning at 8 a.m., it goes and researches LinkedIn for a pre-specified list of people. I've given the AI the URLs of their LinkedIn profiles, and then it is analyzing the top 10 most engaged content that was written over the past week by those five people. It compiles a report, creates a document, slacks me that report. And then not only can I see the topics that were being discussed and the most highly engaged with over the past seven days, but I also have the AI, in this case here, Claude, analyze the post and tell me why it thinks they are so highly engaged with. So again, this would take me hours or somebody on my team hours to go do themselves. I've created an AI team member here, a LinkedIn content researcher that does it for me weekly and it happens when I'm sleeping. So here's the thing, the businesses that are winning right now aren't using AI to quote, do more stuff. They're using it to do the right stuff 
with less effort, which means higher profit margins, better work-life balance, and more time to spot the next opportunity that you might be missing in your business. AI handles the execution layer so that you can focus on the highest leverage activities, the things that only you can be doing. And that is how you get ahead of 99% of other businesses out there. Again, if you want the prompts that I talked about in the video here, I'll link to them in the description below. You can go download them. Also, if you're an online business owner and you're looking to leverage AI in your business so that you can work a whole lot less and make more money in your business, I wanna invite you to join us inside my AI playbook community. I'll also link to it in the description below. As always, thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one.